All of us have cells in our bodies. Now inside each of those cells is a nucleus. And you can see inside this nucleus, there's small worm-shaped looking things. Now these are called chromosomes. If we take a closer look at a chromosome, we actually see that it's a coiled up strand of DNA. Now DNA is in all of our cells and it needs to be coiled up incredibly tightly so that it actually fits. Each strand of DNA is almost a meter long. And in fact, if you took all the DNA in your body and joined it up end to end, it would reach to the moon. So it needs to be coiled tightly. We as humans have 46 of these strands inside every single one of our cells. Now, if you look at DNA, you see it's a semi-helix structure. Now, semi-helix means it's a ladder that's been twisted around and around. Now, sections of this DNA are called genes. Now, genes code for a different thing. On your DNA, you'll have a gene which codes for your hair color. Now, this will dictate whether you have brown hair or black hair or blonde hair or red hair. You'll also have a gene which codes for your eye color, so blue eyes, brown eyes, green eyes. You have genes that code for everything. This can include how tall you are, how big your nose is, everything. But how does a gene tell our body what to do? It's because every gene has a code on it. Now these codes are the runs of this ladder that's been twisted around. Now the code is made up of four different bases, is what they're called. Now these bases, these codings, come in four letters, A, T, G, and C. So let's say that this section along here was the code, the gene, for your hair color. A, T, G, C might be one code and that might give you brown hair. But if we change that code a little bit to say A, T, T, G, that might now give you black hair. See, this is still a gene, it's still a section on your DNA that codes for your hair color, but because we changed the individual code, we changed what physical characteristic you had. Now this means that DNA is a genetic code for your body. It's made up of lots and lots of genes which code for all of your physical traits. It tells your body what to do. Now we know that it's a genetic code and it gives us our physical characteristics. Now the name of these physical characteristics are called traits. So one trait is your hair color. Another trait is your eye color, another your skin color, another your height. They're all the physical characteristics we have. So now let's look at what you need to know from this video. You need to know that DNA is that genetic code in your body. Genetic means it comes from your cells. And it codes for everything. DNA is made up of these bases, the A, G, T, and C. These code for everything, and the different types of bases will give you different traits. Now a chromosome is the strand, big strand of DNA that's been coiled up really tightly so that it actually can fit inside a tiny nucleus. A gene is a small section of that DNA that codes for a particular trait. So one will code for your hair color, your eye color. Now a trait, remember, is that physical characteristic. So your eye color, your hair color, that is the trait. That is what you physically look like because of this different code. Now let's look at a question which brings these things together. So here, one trait of these two plants is the color of their leaves. Now we need to discuss how DNA gives these plants their individual features. In the answer, we need to explain the relationship between genes, DNA, and chromosomes. Now just so we understand what's going on, having a look at this picture, there is genes and DNA, chromosomes inside every one of these plant cells. So if we have a look, we know that these genes are made up of the bases of A, T, C, and G. One combination of these bases, say A, T, T, C, C, might be yellow leaves. Another combination might be green leaves. Okay, now that we understand that, we can look at how it fits together inside these cells. So looking at this picture again, we have our bases. Now these are the code. This code will dictate, is it yellow leaves? Is it green leaves? Now that code will be on the gene for leaf color. Now that gene is going to be part of a long, long strand of DNA that exists inside every cell of the plant. So we've got our DNA broken up into genes. That DNA is coiled up really tightly into chromosomes so that it can fit in the nucleus of the cell. So our answer to this question of leaf color, green or yellow, would be something like this. A gene is a section of DNA that codes for a particular trait. In this case, it's leaf color. Now different traits come from a different base sequence in the DNA. Inside the cell, DNA is coiled up inside the nucleus. 
These tightly coiled strands of DNA are called chromosomes.